Hello, my name is Randy, and I'm a solar designer here at Southern Energy Management. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna to be breaking down how to view your solar edge monitoring. This is Solar Edge's web-based monitoring portal, and you have all the information you need right here. We'll start at the top of the screen and work our way down. So at the very top, we have just information on your system's operation in different intervals of time. Um, then we have the present readout for solar production, how much electricity the array is generating, how that feeds into your home, and then also how that electricity is flowing out to the grid. You may see that this arrow flips facing the left and turns red. That just means that power is needed within your home and is being pulled from the utility grid. Scrolling down to the middle of the page, we have your power and energy tab, um, which has arguably the most important information in the web-based portal. So at the top of this page, uh, we can see different increments of time listed out, which we can toggle between. Um, this is the annual view. Um, so here we have your system production versus your consumption. This is how your solar array is operating. We can see your total system production, and your total system production is broken down into that electricity which you have consumed directly within your home, and that electricity which you exported out into your utility grid. Then we also have your home's energy consumption, broken down into the electricity that came directly from your solar array, and the electricity that your home required from the utility grid. Now we have multiple months listed out here, and we can see exactly how the solar array is making electricity on a month-to-month -month basis, but also how your home is using electricity. Listed on the graph, uh, we see different colors. Green indicates total solar production, blue is that solar electricity which is self-consumed, and in red is the home's energy consumption. One of the great things about this graph is that we can click on different uh, months and it takes you directly to that specific breakdown. Let's click on June. We can also toggle to different periods of the year in these indicators up at the top of the page. So here we see the different days of the month and exactly how the solar array has made electricity versus how the home has used electricity. And once again, let's zoom in a little bit further. Here's a day where we have good solar production. So tracking out on this graph, we see a couple things. Um, we see this bottom line and then we see this larger, more bell-shaped line. The graph starts at midnight and moves to midnight so that we can see um, all those hours of the day. So tracking here, we can see the home's consumption uh, throughout the nighttime and then into the morning, but then we can also see where the sun rose, hit that solar array, and the system started generating power. So as the sun got higher and higher into the sky, the system made more and more electricity. Now we see the production peak typically around noon, but then as the sun begins to set, the array makes less and less power until it sets entirely and your home is back to using electricity that directly comes from the grid. Now, within this graph, we can see the green. That is the electricity that is exported power into the grid. And then underneath that bell curve of green production, we also see self-consumption again. That is indicated by the blue color. So that is, once again, that solar production from the array that went directly to the home's need, as opposed to being exported out into the grid is excess. Now that we've looked at those different increments of time, we're gonna to toggle to the billing cycle view, which gives us the most impactful perspective on how your solar array is making electricity compared to your specific billing cycle. <clears throat> now clicking on billing cycle, we can see that date range. Now we have to designate within the solar edge monitoring that specific period of time. And the way that we do that is by clicking on this calendar icon on the top right corner of the power and energy section. Clicking on this icon, we can then select different methods for designating that period of time. Most utilities will use this rolling days range where you have a specific start date and a specific length of time. Now once that is all designated, you can hit save and it will exactly compare what's within your billing cycle to how your solar array has been operating during that period. And for you data nerds out there, you can click this page icon labeled CSV to download the specific kilowatt hour numbers listed in an Excel file format so you can do that in-depth analysis. This allows you to analyze uh, your monthly savings and how the solar array is impacting your bank account. 
Scrolling down to the bottom of the page, we can see this comparative energy section, which has your cumulative information on solar production. What's interesting here, we can toggle between these different increments of time to see how the solar array has been operating in different seasons and how different times of year impacts the amount of electricity the solar array will generate. Now scrolling back up the page, on the right hand we have this column which has other helpful information. I call this section the feel good section with the environmental benefits laid out showing you exactly how using a renewable resource is creating environmental change and equivalent trees planted and CO2 emissions saved. We can see the weather to get a general idea on how your system will be making power moving into the near future. And then this top box is your specific information pertaining to your array in particular. We have your name, the address where the array is installed, the install date of the array, when this solar edge last updated, and then peak power. Peak power is a static number listing your maximum potential output from the solar array. And that's it. That's the majority of the most important information that's available on this homepage, which is also called the dashboard view. Now we can toggle to another view by clicking on this icon that's listed as layout. When we click on layout, it takes us to the individual panel view of the system's operation. Now this is cumulative information on how much electricity the panel has generated so far throughout today. And we can see that designated on the top bar here listed as daily. If we click the drop down menu, we can see different increments of time. And if we click weekly, we can see that cumulative information on a per panel basis over the entire week. Now, if you want to get even more granular, we can zoom in even further. We can show playback and we can see exactly how the system and the panels within that system are making electricity uh, throughout the day. As we move the slider throughout the day, we can see how the solar production adjusts based upon the amount of solar exposure on the array. In the daily view, we can see each of the individual panels and how they're making electricity. Now, because it's on a per panel basis, you can expect each panel to be generating electricity differently based upon the orientation of that panel and then the surrounding shade elements around the array. And that's all of the information on the layout view within the Solar Edge monitoring. And that's the in-depth look at Solar Edge's web-based monitoring portal. This portal is going to be a helpful tool for you to analyze exactly how your solar array is operating as you live with the system over the years. This will give you confidence to know that the system stays up and operating, saving you money and creating that positive renewable energy benefit. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all information solar. Thanks again for joining us. My name is Randy and we'll see you again soon. <clears throat> peak power is a static number listening, what the? Peak power, other data, uh, then we have, then, <laughs> <laughs>